Welcome to View from the Grandstands. I'm Justin Pora. Thank you for tuning in. Despite this being the most difficult year in recent history from just about every aspect, the National Football League is just one week away from pulling off what many thought would be impossible, a full season of football. No cancellations, 22 weeks, 269 total games. The NFL is on its way to do what no sports league in the United States has been able to accomplish since the COVID-19 pandemic and not altering from its annual schedule. In fact, there were more games this season than in any season in NFL history with an additional playoff team being added to each conference, making wildcard weekend six games long rather than four. Now we just stand one week away from the greatest finale of them all, the Super Bowl. The excitement of making it to Super Bowl 55 is higher than usual, not only because of the way the season was able to proceed, but also because of the matchup. Arguably the greatest quarterback of all time in Tom Brady is set to play in his 10th Super Bowl with a chance to collect his 7th ring, this time with a new team. It's Brady's first year with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after 18 seasons with the New England Patriots, and the passer led the Bucs to the big game after winning three consecutive road playoff games. Funny enough, with the game being played at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, the Bucs will be the first team in NFL history to play the Super Bowl in its home stadium. And on the other side, well, the defending champions are back. 25-year-old sensation Patrick Mahomes leads the Kansas City Chiefs, who look to repeat as Super Bowl winners for the first time since, well, Tom Brady, who helped the Patriots win Super Bowls 38 and 39 back in the mid-2000s. Well, it's universally considered that Tom Brady is the GOAT, otherwise known as the greatest of all time, and in just three seasons, Mahomes has made quite the case to become his successor. He's already earned the regular season MVP award, a Super Bowl MVP, and has lost a total of nine games in his NFL career in 50 starts. Mahomes only has one loss in his playoff career, and it was to, you guessed it, Tom Brady, who would go on to win the Super Bowl in 2019 after his Patriots beat Mahomes' Chiefs in overtime. It's set up to be an epic matchup February 7th, but it won't be seen by many in person. Raymond James Stadium is expected to seat 22,000 fans, a third of its normal capacity, but they're doing something special with the limited space available. 7,500 of the fans will be vaccinated healthcare workers with all costs covered by the NFL as a thank you for all they've done. With that being said, the television numbers should be higher than normal for the year's biggest show. According to Sportico, 99.9 .9 million viewers tuned in to Super Bowl 54, making it the number one TV broadcast of 2020. And that was with 64,000 plus in the seats at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. People across the globe will be stuck in their homes, meaning a more available audience than ever before, making CBS the beneficiary of an otherwise bleak situation. No matter how the game plays out, it will at the very least be a celebration of a job well done by the NFL in completing a season unlike any other. I'm Justin Pora. Talk to you soon.